This shout out goes out to legendary soul singer Jackie Shane. Jackie was born in 1940 in Nashville, Tennessee, and almost instantly she knew she was a girl, even though she was born in a male body. Despite the fact she was black, trans, and living in the segregated U.S., she was unapologetic about being herself. In a Globe and Mail profile by Elio Iannacci from 2017, she is quoted as saying, I remember walking down my neighborhood street with my hat, my dress, my pocketbook, and my gloves on when I was five. I couldn't have cared less about anybody. I was doing my thing. Still am. By the 1960s, Jackie wanted to leave the turmoil of the southern U.S., and she moved to Montreal, where she began singing with a popular band, The Motley Crew. Wait, 80s hair band Motley Crew? No, the original Motley Crew was a band formed by Frank Motley Jr., who was a trumpet player. He actually learned to play from Dizzy Gillespie. So I'm assuming this Motley Crew had A, better music, and B, better hair, and that was the group that Jackie started to front. Jackie and the group decided to make Toronto their base and became a mainstay in the young street music scene. The clubs and bars along Young at this time were brimming with all sorts of musicians and many African-American musicians who, just like Jackie, were fed up with segregation. On any given night, you might see Stevie Wonder, Robbie Robertson, or even Bob Dylan trying out new material, and Jackie was in the center of it all. In 1962, she released a single called Any Other Way that quickly rose to the top of the charts. A cover of a song, Jackie's version took on a new meaning as she played with the lyrics. Tell her that I'm happy. Tell her that I'm gay. Which was coded language at the time. Tell her that I'm happy. Jackie would go back and forth between the U.S. and Canada. She sang backup for Little Richard, but stuck to her guns. When the producers at the Ed Sullivan Show asked her to remove her makeup, she said no. She said, nobody was going to buy me or change me for a dollar. Little Richard would sit there on stage and say things like, some people think I'm gay, but I'm not. And I would always be thinking, if you're not, Lord help us, there's no such thing as gay. By the 70s, Jackie had to move back to the U.S. to care for her elderly mother. And even though the music scene of Young Street changed dramatically, people never forgot about Jackie. In 2017, the book Any Other Way, How Toronto Got Queer, a history of LGBT culture in Toronto, takes its name from Jackie's hit single, and it was also announced that a reissue of Jackie's work will be coming soon, with permission and participation of Jackie herself. Jackie is also considering coming back to Toronto and performing. She was quoted in The Globe as saying, Although I was born in and now live in the USA, I do not recognize the United States as my country. There's a reason I will always say Toronto is my hometown, you see. I came from the South during a time when Jim Crow was happening. From the first time I stepped on stage in Toronto, I knew that those who came and heard me through the grapevine and rooted for me, they were mine. It was because they knew I gave them the truth. Shout out to the legend. And the truth that is Jackie Shane. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> 